Hey, I'm Dusty, friends call me Moose. I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up self-timer on the Sony A6000. Now self-timer comes in really handy when you have your camera mounted to a tripod and you wanna eliminate any chance of camera shake. So let me go ahead and show you how to set this up. On the back of the camera, go ahead and locate this little stopwatch looking icon. It's the left-hand side of this control wheel. If I click that, we'll enter into the drive mode menu. If we come down to that same icon, you can see that there is self timer and it shows 10 seconds. Now we can alter this. If we go left or right, we can go between 10 seconds and two seconds. Really deciding between the two depends on the length of the lens that you're using. So with long telephoto lenses, I would stick with 10 seconds and with shorter uh, lenses, I would go with two seconds. Uh, that gives enough time for the camera and the lens to sort of stabilize after you get your hands off the camera. So let's go ahead and show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and aim, focus, and then press the shutter. You'll hear some beeps, and then it takes the shot after two seconds. Now, if you're still trying to figure out how this camera works, maybe you're unsure of which settings to use, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets for the Sony A6000 that show you the exact settings I would use for common scenarios like portraits, sports, landscapes, and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I show you which shooting mode, the exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I also go over the autofocus modes I'd use depending on the subject or scene. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Thank you.